Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. In today's video, we are going to be making a pair of sublimation socks. I'm making these for Scott. So I do have the Cricut Easy Press and I did pick up one in a larger size. So this is the 12 by 10. I would normally use my nine by nine, but for some things it's just not big enough and I'm so often having to go over top of things that I've already heat, um, put heat on. So I did buy the big one to see if that would, you know, make a difference for me. So I have sublimation socks from Amazon. I have some butcher's paper. I have my lint roller. I have just some cardboard to put inside my socks. And I have a heating pad. Heating pad, not really a heating pad, like a, a thermal pocket, I guess it is. All right. So, also, I have my images. So, I did my images. I used the Cricut Print and Cut on my maker. And the nice thing with the Print and Cut, when you're doing images that are a little bit larger and you have to be able to put them together, when you use the, use the Print and Cut feature to do your images, they fit together perfectly. So then I just applied heat tape to put them together. And I have some more heat tape to keep them applied on my socks. So I have four images for the front and back of each of the socks, all right? So I am going to, with my socks, I like to do these. I pull them open and make sure that the seam is going one direction. And then I put them on a piece of cardboard. So I like the cardboard to be enough that it stretches them out a little bit, but doesn't stretch them too much. poking through but I want it to be you know pretty even so got them on my cardboard there's that one Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to iron them real quick. I'm going to do front and back. Then I'm going to take my lint roller and just make sure that there's no little pieces on there. Now these Teflon pads get very hot, so just be careful because, you know, this is at 400. So just please be really, really careful. Don't burn yourself. I had, you know, someone ask me if they thought that sublimation would be a good hobby for their kid. And that child's about 13. And I don't know, I personally said no because I feel like it gets so hot. Like it takes such high temperatures to do sublimation. It's so easy to burn yourself. I mean, sometimes I don't even think it's a good idea for me. All right, so they're lint rolled. 
and you can see, look at the pieces that came off. If I didn't lint roll it, those little things would be in there and could mess up my picture. So I am going to put a piece of butcher paper down. I want this to fit flat, so I'm going to make it a little sideways. And then So I think, because I measured my socks from not being on this when I made them. So I think I'm going to leave my toe open and my band open. And I've got some heat tape. All right, so now I'm gonna put this on. Ouch, hot. And I'm gonna go for 60 seconds. All right, so I did lift and go back on because I did forget to put my contact paper. And as you can see, look at it, all the color that went through the contact paper. I don't want that on my iron. So I did just lift it up and put my contact paper back on. Now I'm gonna let that cool before I do that, take it off and do the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. All right, so I have my, my picture. I'm gonna put it on. seconds. All right, so I'll move this over. All right, so we'll pull this off. Oh, that is so cool looking. Look at that, that is so cool looking. Very cool looking. All right, so now we'll do the other side. And make sure that you're putting your image in the right, like, you know, right side up. Because I have accidentally put my image upside down before. So these images I just got off of, I think I got these from Pinterest, actually. And I just, you know, cleaned the picture up and put it into design space. All right, and we're gonna go again for 60 seconds at 400. Again, look at, at how rich that color is. That's amazing. And again, at Four hundred for sixty seconds. All 
All right, so I'm going to move this over and look at it, all the color that blew off. So that's why you put your paper down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this color, look how saturated that is. It is so saturated, so rich. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And then now that this color is in the fiber, like you don't have to worry about it coming off. It's not going to fade. It's not going to wash away. And there you go. Hulk socks. My husband will absolutely love these. Again, the color's amazing. I'll make myself a better sock template. I'll probably cut it, cut something out on my Cricut so that it's nice and even next time. But look at that. Those, <laughs> those are beautiful. My husband's going to love them. And there you go. There are my Hulk socks. And pictures on the back as well. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. The color is so rich, so saturated. These things turned out fantastic. Now I know there are little things that as I practice, they will get better but these are really cool. My husband is going to really like them. And you know, pictures front and back. So super, super cute. I'm gonna do a pair, a friend's pair for my daughter. Now the one thing I do wanna show you, so you can tell from when I measured them. So putting them on the cardboard, I might actually, when I do my daughters, I think I'll try them not on the cardboard just to see so that you guys can see. I'll probably just iron them because, you know, look at the difference. So when you put them on the cardboard and then iron them, I think they might shrink back down after they're washed but my husband has big feet, so it's not gonna matter. So, but this is my only thing with putting them on the cardboard. So next time I might just put a piece of butcher paper in them and then do them this way and see what happens. So I'll do that for my daughters because I don't want my daughter's ones all stretched out. So when I do those, I will show you and we'll see how it turns out doing it that way. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you later. Bye.